I have not been this excited about an RC car in quite some time. I think the rip saw was the last time I was this excited about an RC. I went and got the all new V5 Typhon. It's new for 2021 with lots of improvements on there. And I got it yesterday. I wanted to drive it so bad, but I knew I wanted to, you know, open it up and experience it all on film. And yesterday I wasn't gonna make a video and it was raining and it was wet. It was just really nasty out here anyway. So I didn't really want to come out here and drive it like that. But now I have it. Nice, pretty day. It's got the new electronics. These seem to be new with all the Arma RCs. And they have a lot of the same improvements. I like the, the, the bees in the chassis. Uh, you know, safety input gears, the e-clip on the pinion, new receiver box, stuff like that. I think it's really neat that Armour went back and redesigned some of the stuff with these RC cars and they did it to several of their models and the exact same improvements like the e-clip on the pinion gear, the bigger receiver box, the beads and the chassis, all that stuff they did it to several of their models. And I think that was that was pretty cool of them to do. I, uh, I'm really excited to get this thing out of the box and see what it does. Well, let's open it up and take a look at it. This is hilarious. I was so excited about opening this thing up. I just came out with a knife and started just cutting the tape and stuff like that. I was supposed to do it all on film. I just completely forgot about the camera. I'm just like, I just want to get it open. So, <laughs> so let's try this again. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man, that came up. All right, what's in the box? The bag full of goodies that they all come with. Let's see, here's the pinion that you need to go 70 miles an hour, I believe. The high speed gearing bag full of tools, the instruction booklet, and what is this? Oh, shims for differential. Awesome. That's great. There's the transmitter. Man, this thing is such a nice looking RC. I love how this thing looks. Love how this thing looks. It is so, so nice. I'm going to feel horrible when I roll it over. I like how it has this nice matte finish on there. Of course, armor and their sticker placement. Come on. Oh, well, it's good enough, I guess. Yeah, the stickers are at least on there. They're not bad. Unlike the Notorious, where the stickers are just peeling off. All the stickers seem to be pretty good on this one. Oh, I didn't realize. Huh. The hexes are on the, they're like on the outside. That's, you would think they would be sunken in at least a little bit, but nope, they're just out there in the open. All right, that's fine, I guess. Let's get the body off of there. Well, those clips come off pretty easily. There we go. Look underneath the hood of it. Pretty much looks like the Notorious up inside there. So it's got the same electronics, same ESC, the same motor, the same servo. It's all the same. So, you know, this is a much smaller RC with the same power as the Notorious. That's going to be wild. <laughs> it's going to be wild. It's got some really nice sway bars already on it. And look how thick that metal is. Man, that is really, really thick. This thing is heavy too. For its size, man, that thing is so much heavier than the other RCs I have this size. Now comparing it side by side with the Rustler, which is probably one of the RCs I have that's closest to the same size, you see that the Typhon is a little bit longer, not by much, but the weight, man, this thing is so much heavier than this little <laughs> plastic Rustler. <laughs> Not that these two are comparable. I mean, this is a buggy and this is a, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not sure what you would call that thing, a stadium truck or something. The, uh, I'm not sure what class the Rustler falls in, but it's, it's not a buggy, so it's not really a fair comparison. Just that their, their size is very similar and that's why I was putting it up here. Putting it up here next to the Notorious so you get some idea. Man, the Notorious is way bigger than it is, but it's mostly just the stuff that sticks out of the body, right? The, uh, let's pull the body off of it. So, you can see they're pretty much the same. Their layout and, and everything. Even the way <laughs> all the stuff back here is designed is very, very similar. These are very, very similar like in their construction, which is pretty interesting. Uh, even the way the shocks are mounted and everything. The, uh, man, this is, this is the same amount of power as this bad boy right here. But you see it's a lot less RC. So it's very interesting how it handles compared to this one right here. 
yeah i don't know i'm sure all this but make sure you go through there and, and make sure all your 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 wheels are nice and snug the notorious had a loose one when i got it out of the box so this one was a little bit loose and uh yeah i think they're they're pretty good though one thing i found is that i take these straps and i actually velcro that around the very edge so i don't have to feed it back through there so that helps me out a lot i think we should do this in over here this end should be the end that we're adjusting all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull the strap and i'm gonna put it right about here there we go and i'm gonna use this side to adjust it with because once you put the battery in here which by the way i'm running on a 6s 5000 milliamp 100c battery so once you put that battery in it's kind of difficult to move this strap and adjust that strap with that battery sitting on top of it so that's why i adjust it over there so a little pro tip for you guys see now you can just pull that and strap it in so put this underneath that maybe i should just do one of them like this there we go and then i'll do this one like this too open it up put it in and we can plug everything in but now i gotta take pictures of it before i get out and driving it so i can get a good thumbnail look at me i'm, I'm giddy with excitement <laughs> i'm about to power it on i just took the pictures for the thumbnail and i am so ready to drive this thing like you do not even know <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on plug up the battery that is really hard to do one-handed there we go let's turn on all right all right here we go let's get the trim situated I think I have the trim set right now <laughs> man <laughs> it doesn't have the traction man it's so so <laughs> <laughs> I don't think screams, does it? Man! Man, this thing is fast! It is! <laughs> it's got so much power to it. I think acceleration-wise, this has got to be my fastest RC. And probably top in out too. I mean, you know, some of the e Revo, if you change out the gearing, it'll do 70 miles an hour. I don't know if the wheels will handle 70 miles an hour. This thing, I believe it'll do it. Man, this thing is so, so, it's, it's so much power. I can't even get it wide open through here. I gotta, I gotta take it to the park. Man. <laughs> It can't get the traction. It's got too much, too much speed. Now the traction. Let's see, man. I'm afraid to bring it down this driveway wide open. I'll see how fast I can get it up to. I'm, I'm nervous doing this. Yeah, we're not driving this thing wide open. <laughs> see, normally I come down and I hit this right here. I got like a little bump right there and I don't want to bring this thing through here at like 40 or 50 miles an hour whatever this thing does I don't know how fast it goes out of the box with this gearing I think it runs about 50 playing the leaves some This thing is just, <laughs> it's wild.
<laughs> this thing is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I can hit full throttle, but I can't hit full speed. Oh no, my first rollover. At least it was gentle, right? I can't get over how much power it is putting down. Oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Not saying it's my favorite RC, but man, it is going to be a contender. It is caking dirt on the inside of these wheels. Look at that. There's dirt caked inside of there. <laughs> Man, this thing's gonna require a lot of cleaning. <laughs> All right, let's see how well it flies. I'm gonna be gentle with it. Okay, I'm getting a feel for the the way it corrects in the air before I go sending it. Okay, you don't have much correction at all. Maybe if I up the punch, it will, but let's see. Yeah, so you can correct it a little bit. But there's not a lot of mass in the wheels. And since you don't have a lot of mass, you have a lot less corrective ability. <laughs> the land's real flat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it up to 45. This would probably be a mistake, but let's see. Yeah, see, th th those were those were solid full throttle bursts, and you don't have a lot of room to correct it. I don't, I don't think this is designed to go up in the air like that. <laughs> I think it's designed to stay more horizontal like that. So I don't think we'll take it off 45 anymore. Let's hit this uh, 30 again. <laughs> we can send anything out across the yard, can't we? <laughs> that just took a massive chunk out of my yard that is a really deep hole it's all on the front of this thing <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow that is a lot a lot of mud a lot of dirt so maybe I should be having the thumbnail. <laughs> um, <laughs> I couldn't really see it as it was flying and I couldn't really tell it went past the ramp. I couldn't exactly see how it was going to land. Even though I was pulling the trigger, I was trying not to pull it too much. I didn't want to land on the rear. I didn't know exactly how much I was going to be able to adjust in the air. It doesn't... You can't adjust it as fast as other RCs because there's not enough weight in the tires to really uh, move the body all that much, which actually, I believe, without me having any experience, that's what you want when you're racing these things because when you're racing buggies and you're hitting these jumps in the track, you've got to make very precise movements. And having an RC car that doesn't move very much when you do something actually gives you a lot of precision. 
if you have a lot of movement when you are pulling the trigger <laughs> you're going to get very uh very large movements and that's not what you want <laughs> so <laughs> let's, let's get this thing cleaned up i'm gonna take it out to the park all right let's <laughs> put that back man that's got to be <laughs> like a pound or two of dirt <laughs> that is uh wow <laughs> i have never dug up this much dirt with anything i'm gonna wash this thing off you know i like getting marcy's wet but you know what i don't think i have much of a choice here <laughs> All right, guys, right here at the park. There's a dog barking in the background. Can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I cleaned it up. See, it cleaned up pretty good. I got all the dirt. It took me forever to get the dirt out of there. And I took the wheels off and cleaned all the mud out from inside there. So hopefully we can get this thing up to top speed in these parking lots and uh, won't have a wheel fly apart. All right, so the tires have these, these very knobby, this very knobby tread pattern. And that on asphalt isn't great. These will wear down very, very quickly. So I'm gonna try not to be too rough with it on the asphalt because I don't wanna wear the tires out right away. But let's get this thing running. It sounds like the, uh, let's see. It sounds like the, the front wheels are, are losing traction. You hear that sound? I'm not sure that's what it is. That's what I think it is though. Let's get it over in the bigger parking lot. All right, now we're here in the sun. A little warmer over here, it's pretty cold today. Man, this thing is fast. The sway bar is putting in some work. I'm trying real hard not to roll it, but I'm trying to push it to its, its limits, see what it can do. It does at least lose traction when it turns, so it will slide. It helps prevent it from rolling over. Let's see. Kind of floats up that hill. <laughs> Ooh, that almost wasn't good. This thing is really grounded. It stays on its wheels really well. Ooh. <laughs> Saved it. Trying to avoid that sidewalk best I can. Man, it flies well. <laughs> I almost hit that swing set. <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh! That was not good. I didn't know it was going to nose over like that.
I just don't have the, the enough acceleration to uh, save it from that is all. It just nosed over too fast. Yeah, see, that was a full throttle. And I still wasn't able to pull the nose up in time. Maybe I should change the uh, punch setting. I changed the punch from uh, four to six. So. Now I can tell a difference, definitely. I gotta be a little easier on the throttle when I'm accelerating. <laughs> By now, I feel like I have more control over it now. I'm jumping up this little hill right here. Oh, yes, I was able to save it. It's much easier to control now. Woo, that. If I had on punch setting four, I wouldn't have been able to save it just then. All right, let's try this again. No, that still wasn't enough. I had a full throttle. <laughs> it's like I didn't even try. <laughs> so. It comes up it nicely. But whenever it hits this right here, the rear wheels just bounce too much. And the rear end comes up. Look at this. On that punch setting, it'll do a wheelie. Not much of one. <laughs> But then pick those front wheels up. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. I can't believe I saved it then. I've rolled it a lot in the grass. That grass doesn't allow it to slide at all. And so those tires really grip into it. Yeah, see, you, in the dirt and on the asphalt, the tires lose their traction and they will actually uh, slide. But out here in the grass, they really grip into it. And so they, they, it will not go sideways at all. All right, so normally I wouldn't film a video in my car, but you know what? I don't even care. Not a day. I am going to go eat some food after this. I am very, very hungry and I'm not going to feel like making an outro when I get to the house. So that's what... We're gonna do right now. I, I really like this RC. I love this RC. It's so aggressive. It is so aggressive. The acceleration on it, and the traction, and the way it handles. It is a very aggressive RC. It is so much fun. It's just, you know, running this buggy on 6S. It's just, I mean, it it is fantastic. I don't have an RC that is this aggressive. I do not think. I don't think the Erevo is as as a aggressive as this thing is because the Erevo is a lot, lot heavier. It is just a lot heavier than this thing is. And this thing really doesn't pull the front end up. It, it does, but not like enough to do a wheelie really, right? You've got to have a lot of traction and, and really move the punch up to get the front wheels off the ground. And because of that, it just really sticks. It, it just, it does a great job of putting the power to the ground, which is what you want. Usually, right? I mean, you do want the rear end to break loose when you're doing donuts and stuff like that or drifting around corners, but usually you want the power to go to the ground and it absolutely does it. It's got the sway bars on there. So when you turn, the body doesn't roll. It just, it handles fantastically. I really love this thing. I can't wait to get it to the track. I got to re-up my membership to the track that's close to me and I'm gonna go out there one day, one morning when there's no one else out there. You know, I can't go on a date like today on the weekends. There's somebody out there 
there's always people out there and I don't want to go out there and try to be, you know, making a video when there's other people driving around and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not a big enough YouTuber to go out there when people would just be like, oh yeah, look, it's, it's the Outsource RC guy. Let's, let's, you know, let him make a video and let's have fun making a video with him. No, I, they'll just be like, who's this guy? Get, get this guy out of the way, you know, stop, stop, you know, hogging the track with your, <laughs> with your camera and your armor. Get out of here. You know, I don't want to, you know, you know, inconvenience people or anything like that. So I'll go one morning. Uh, when there's no one else out there, that's what I'll do. But I really love this thing. I had a fantastic time. I didn't break anything that I thought I was going to break. Let me see if I can put turn the light on. There we go. What I did break, where is it? Right, right here. This piece right here, this plug, it, it, it broke. So I don't know how you take, there we go. Yeah, that comes out this piece right here this plastic piece right here broke so i guess i gotta cover that up so dirt and moisture and stuff doesn't get inside there other than that nothing broke the wing mount didn't break or anything else i took a really hard roll and it didn't break the wing or anything i mean this wing is is pretty durable and you know i hit the front end pretty good a couple of times it didn't break or, or damage that any at all the body is in fantastic shape. The body didn't tear apart or anything like that. Oh. And I know some people are... Some people leave comments and say things like, I don't bash my RCs all that hard. Well, or, you know, like other YouTubers. Here's the thing. I don't buy my RCs to tear up. I buy my RCs to drive. And when I do these videos, I do these videos from perspective of, first off, the way I would drive these things and also the way that you know, most people would drive them. Most people don't buy these things. You're not going to buy a $500 RC and take it out and try to destroy it, right? And it kind of helps that I'm not a bad driver. I'm a pretty decent driver. And so I don't do things that, you know, destroy my RC car all that often. I like to put my RC cars in positions of where I have to save them. And I like to be able to save them. There's skill in that, right? Anybody can take an RC car out and just hit a ramp and just crash it. But to put the RC in a position where you need to have skill to save it and still be able to, you know, land it on its wheels. I love that kind of stuff. That's what I enjoy doing. Crawlers are a great example of that. You see crawlers all the time in positions where you have got to have skill to get it out of. And, and I love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. And those are the kind of videos that I like to make. I don't like to just destroy my RCs on the except in a rare occasion when I'm taking the X-Max and slamming into something, right? But usually I don't tear up my RCs. But, you know, that's just me. If you guys want to tear up your RCs, go for it. That's not what I'm going to do. But yeah, so my final thoughts of this Typhon. It doesn't do tricks. doesn't do stunts. The only thing it does is, is it hauls butt and does a fantastic job at it. And I love the little thing. I wish I got it sooner. I feel robbed of <laughs> some enjoyment in my life. If you guys are interested in a very, very fast RC that just it just moves so quick and handles so so nicely, and you're not going to be out there doing stunts, flips, and things like that, this would be a fantastic RC for you. It is great. I think it will do great on the track. I can't wait to get it out there so we can actually see it, you know, driven in its proper environment in the place it's supposed to be driven. And that's that's something that I'm going to do. It won't be my next video. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get out there. But as soon as I'll be able to get out there, I will do it for you. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, guys. I'm super hungry. I need to get some food. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hyphen as much as I have enjoyed it. This thing is a fantastic, fantastic little RC. I, I loved it. I had a great time with it. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Share the video. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Thank you so, so very much. And I will see you guys later.